Hi guys, this is how to play the Hendrix chord. Um, bit of a fun lesson, this is kind of the verse section of uh, Purple Haze that I'm showing you basically. But um, yeah, really cool, really fun and there's so many songs that I've found that use that sort of rhythm, you know. Boom, boom, ba, boom, boom, ba. Even going back to really simple ones such as, you know, we will rock you, boom, boom, da, boom, boom, da. It's such a, it's such a classic rock rhythm and um, it's quite easy to put this kind of funky cool chord at the end of it. There's an even easier way to finger it um, on the fretboard to make it even easier to play if you want to just focus on the rhythm. But um, really cool fun lesson for you guys today. Uh, as, as always please subscribe if you do like what I do and um, check out more of these easy riffs kind of categorized and in order and if this is a little bit too hard for you you know we'll be able to find some easy ones on the website at andyguitar.co.uk as well as a full beginners course for you there to check out. But let's have a close up on how to play the Hendrix chord. Hendrix chord. Otherwise known as a dominant seventh sharp nine chord. So this would be an E7 sharp nine. Um, very jazzy, but Hendrix kind of plays it in, obviously, plenty of classic rock songs. So, we have our middle finger at 7th fret on the A string. So you can see all three of the dots on my guitar. This would be 1st fret, 3rd, 5th, 7th fret, so the 3rd dot. Your first finger's behind that, and we're going from a bit of a different angle here so you can kind of see where they go. So this is where my first finger is. Middle finger above it. First finger, that's 6th fret. Third finger, also at 7th fret on the 3rd string. And that kind of makes your dominant 7th chord shape. You can move that around the fretboard and play any dominant 7th shape that you like. And the root note is where your middle finger is. So this is an E7 shape. And then we add our little finger one fret over from the rest of them. So this would be our eighth fret. And that's what makes it sound very, uh, very cool, very jazz, but very Hendrix if used in the right context. So that's our chord. Each of the notes in turn. That's string five, four, three, and two. And the two other notes, that you, the strings that you not, don't have fingers on, are 6 and 1. And they're both E's as well, so if you accidentally hit all the strings, it sounds dead cool So this is where well. to place your fingers. But it's really about the strumming and rhythm action that's really going to make this sound like Hendrix. So let's have a bit of a close-up on the picking hand. Picking hand focus, I've got the same E7 chord that we just played. But we very much want the rhythm of... So thicker two strings, or even just one string, and then everything on beat two, two, four, one and two, three and four. That's the core element of it. One and two, three and four. We're adding one last up on the A ah of two. One, two and a three and four and A. Ah. muting at all, with a bit of a palm mute on the one, two, three, four. If you're struggling to get that kind of rhythm with the chords that you want, and you can also do a flat finger at um, 12th fret for an E. It gives kind of a similar feel, and you can kind of vary from one to the other as well, so... That's kind of fun to do. Kind of fun, same really, same chord really. Um, let's also cover how to play the rest of the Purple Haze verse. So to play the verse of Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix, we start off with the rhythm that we're doing now, with your Hendrix chord at 7th fret. 
And then we play the same thing on a standard G major chord. Thicker strings, everything. And then an open A string, palm muted. And then first finger at fourth fret on the A string. Middle finger at fifth fret on the A string so that we get a rhythm of open, open, four, five. Open, open, four, five. So all of that dead slow just so you can hear it in context. He's got that rhythm boom boom ba ba boom boom ba all the way through it and um so the hard thing about this is certainly switching between each of the chords um, my recommendation is to try and keep this rhythm going and stay on each chord a little bit longer so just giving you a bit more time on each chord to really feel that boom boom da boom boom ba and if you're struggling to get that riff, just kind of think of We Will Rock You is the best way. Boom, boom, da, boom, boom, da, G, G, boom, boom, ba, boom, boom, da, boom, boom, da. And the only one that varies from that rhythm is one, two, three, four, the very last one. And as I say, to kind of vary that, to keep it fun for yourself playing it, to give you something else to kind of do, um, a flat first finger at 12th fret is just a really easy way to kind of jump around the neck and get you used to playing in a Hendrix kind of fashion. So um, all Hendrix songs, he kind of varies what he plays all the time. And if you have never done that, this is a great thing to play about with. Really great fun. E dominant seven, sharp and nine, and a flat first finger at 12th fret. Also gives you that kind of Hendrix sound. So that's how to play the Hendrix chord. Remember, Jimi Hendrix is kind of considered by many guitarists to be the best guitarist ever. So having something, you know, a little trick like this, it, one of his signature moves under your belt is going to be really cool for you guys. Remember to subscribe if you do like what I do to support the channel and to get new uploads straight to you. Check out the website at andyguitar.co.uk and I'm sure I'll see you guys again. Bye for now.